Our seventh rule is the derivative of any exponential base function. So not necessarily e to the x, but any other number besides e, which remember is a specific number. It's about 2.7, um, but we're talking about any number base. So if we have any number a to the x, so maybe 4 to the x instead of e to the x, how do we approach taking this derivative? So one thing we should mention is that a has to be bigger than zero. We're just going to assume that that's a property of exponents. Um, these exponential functions is that the base is positive. So when we take this derivative, we're going to do the ln of the base times the base to the original power. So pretty similar to the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of something like this first example here, 2 to the x, isn't just 2 to the x, though, like e to the x would be. It would be ln of 2 times 2 to the x. ln of your base times your base to the original power. Very similar. There's a pattern with these exponential functions. Their derivatives have the question and the answer. So derivative of 2 to the x is not just 2 to the x, it's ln of 2 times 2 to the x. Similarly, we can combine some other rules. We have the derivative of 3 to the x. So we have a number besides e being raised to the x. That's what tells us we have to use this rule. It's going to be ln of 3, and then we copy down 3 to the x. Minus, if we accidentally use this for e to the x, what would happen? We would have ln of e times e to the x. Well, ln of e is just 1, so it's not wrong to have that. You're just saying it's 1 times e to the x. But we know even faster the derivative of e to the x was just e to the x. And last term is e squared. What is the derivative of e squared? Do you know? Does it have an x on it? No. You could plug it into your calculator. If you do e squared in your calculator, it's about 7.4 almost. What's the derivative of 7.4? zero. It's a constant. So just be careful. Be on the lookout for those weird looking constants. That has a derivative of zero. It doesn't have an x on it. So 3 to the x is ln of 3 times 3 to the x. e to the x is just e to the x. But e squared is a regular number and its derivative is zero.